Hey there, how are you doing team? Nokia Power is here and in this video we will highlight the changes that Android Oreo brings over Android Nougat in terms of backup and reset. We have already demoed Android Oreo on many Nokia Android phones earlier in many videos, many handsome videos we have done, we have posted many articles about it. But uh, this uh, aspect of Android Oreo we have not covered. So we wanted to highlight it separately because these are really useful changes. So uh, what changes uh, Android Audio brings over Android Nogoth in terms of backup and reset? So the first change that you will notice is in terms of the settings. So earlier backup and reset were under one menu or like under one uh, heading. Here backup and reset have moved separately. So backup is here and reset is here. And both are still under system. Okay, so earlier it was under personal basically. So uh, in Nogoth, Backup and reset was under the personal headings, but here it has moved to under the system. So you will have to go under the system and then you can see backup and reset. So what else has changed? If you go to backup and reset here and backup and reset here. So now you can see that when you tap on backup, you see all the content data. So it has been now separately provided under this backup. So earlier, if you put in backup my data, so it used to backup everything, but you had no control. So it was just on and off. Here in case of Nova, in, in case of Oreo, now you can see that you can actually decide your app data automatically restore and it shows what all apps data it backs. So you can do automatic restore on and off from here. You can now see whether you want uh, this call history, you can see the device settings, calendar, contacts, photos and videos. So it kind of shows you what all content it actually backs up. Now you can go to individual, uh, you know, settings and see it. So in a way it is much improved. How you can sh uh, see the description. Then going to the reset. Now you can under the reset, uh, earlier there was only this factory data reset. So it just used to take it to reset the phone. Now you can see there are many options, like three options rather, not many. Three options and it, it is again uh, all focus on the usability part. So you can now go to the network setting and reset and you can reset settings from here. You can reset app preferences from here. So I already did. So as I said, uh, while uh, under Nogath, backup and reset settings were like tucked under backup and reset, but they were not so descriptive. There were not those many options, not that much usability that you could do with backup and reset. There was only one option of uh, switching on or off the backup. And then if you go to the restore part, so there was nothing you could have done just uh, other than resetting your phone. But if you go to no, uh, audio now, you can see that under backup you have shown like you will be shown okay uh, <clears throat> whether you want to back up to google drive or not you can switch on and off that you can also change the accounts you can now go to the app data you can check whether you want to uh, automatically restore or not you can back up and you can restore so it, it shows you everything now if you go back you can see that other contents are also backed up like call history is backed up device setting is backed up photos and videos are backed up if you go to the rest reset part you can again uh, see that there are three options given now the uh, one option is a similar factory data reset option which was the only option uh, on the uh, nogat but here you can see two more reset options so network settings reset if you are facing an issue with network settings you can actually use this option and set uh, the, the reset your network options if you want to reset your app preferences so it will uh, kind of uh, resets all preferences or disabled apps, notification, default application for actions, background data restriction, anything. So, but you will not lose any app data. So, just changes the app preferences. So, this is what we wanted to show it to you. And I think it's quite useful if you just want to go and uh, check this on your uh, Android Oreo running phone. So, hope you have liked this video. Stay tuned for more and uh, keep watching.